welcome to Anderson Valley. So this is actually our first stop on our way to Mendocino. We are doing a little hosted stay at a couple different properties and we're gonna be up to a whole bunch of stuff on this trip. We are kicking things off with some wine tasting at Lula Cellars. Stopping for a tasting on your way to Mendocino is perfect because you pass through Anderson Valley. There are so many great iconic places to taste Pinot. It's the first of May. It's not feeling very summery, but definitely classic spring, chilly, cool climate kind of wine vineyard kind of day. I need to get back to the heat lamps. <laughs> but yes, this is stop number one, Lula. Let me show you some more of the vineyard. It's absolutely beautiful here. Okay, friends, we've made it to Mendocino. We are here at the Little River Inn for two nights. We're staying in the Hannah Madison Suite. It's right behind me. We've got a sitting area out here, a hot tub, and a phenomenal view. I'm kind of like regretting not bringing binoculars because I know I could probably spot some whales and sea creatures out there. Every time I come here, I see wildlife, so <laughs> that is a guarantee. I'm trying to figure out what to wear to dinner. We're going to dinner at the little river inn restaurant which is just up the road and then we're gonna be in the hot tub tonight um, probably drinking wine and chilling check it out fam this is our room tour this is the Hannah Madison suite and it is so perfect and then the bedroom connects to the bathroom cute little soaking tub And then it connects around to a sitting area on this side. This is the Little River Inn restaurant. It's attached to the whale watching bar and they have these bar bites, these deep fried cheese curds, which are amazing. We also had cocktails. I had a Negroni, Bay had a beer, and we started with a tomato bisque and Little Gem salad. So amazing. And for mains, we had the burger and the chipino. I can't go to Mendocino and not get seafood. I mean, the seafood's just top tier. This chipino could easily feed two people. It was chock full of shellfish, white fish, and herbs. It was really good and salty and satisfying. On our way back to the room, we saw this family of deer. They were hanging around and then the sun was starting to set. It was just so beautiful and a reminder of just how special Mendocino is because there's just animals and nature everywhere. All right, Mendocino day two. We went over to catch a canoe and bicycles too, which is at the Stanford Inn. And we went for a canoe adventure on the big river. And they also offer bike rentals as well if you'd like to go mountain biking there's tons of different trails around here but we went in an outrigger canoe which I was a little concerned about I hadn't canoed or kayaked in a long time but the outrigger was so stable great for beginners of course you get a life jacket and we saw so many harbor seals in the river it was so nice there were harbor seals like moms and pups popping up everywhere We also saw Canadian geese and little babies. It did begin to rain a little bit, so we got a little cold out there. So my best advice would be to layer up when you're going on the canoe, especially in the springtime. Oh. 
Huh? Oh, the baby's looking at us. Oh, oh nice head up. There were so many harbor seals in the little cove next to the Hannah Madison suite at the Little River Inn. It was amazing. So it's a great place to animal watch. We just finished off the night hanging out in the hot tub, warming up because we got that little rain and drizzle this day. The hot tub was very necessary. And I love that the hot tub is covered. <laughs> And of course, we are enjoying some local wine while we soak in the hot tub. Good morning, friends. So it is Wednesday. It is our last full day in Mendocino. We are checking out of the Little River Inn. We loved our stay. And this outdoor hot tub was amazing. They do offer breakfast here in the restaurant and as room service, but I want to see something local. So I want to go into town and see what I think it's called the waiting room. And then we're going to a gardening class at the Stanford Inn. We're not staying there, but they do offer fun little interactive classes and courses. You can do wellness and healthy living related. So we're doing a basic organic gardening class there at 11 o'clock. Then we might get lunch. Then we might check in the Brewery Gulch Inn, which is where we're staying tonight. So fun, full pack day today. And guess what? The sun's finally out. I think today's gonna be the warmest day yet. <laughs> After our morning coffee, we went over to Mendocino Headland State Park for a quick little walk to enjoy the scenery and the views. I just can't get enough of this coastline. It is stunning. Then it was time for our organic gardening class at the Stanford Inn. Everything here in this garden, it starts from seed. They focus on the biointensive farming method, which maximizes the amount of edible plants in the minimum amount of space. It's perfect for backyard or urban gardeners like myself who don't have a lot of space, but we're looking to you know, offset some of that food cost. The Stanford Inn is gorgeous. It is a plant-based resort focused on sustainable living. We learned about how to compost. We learned about the animals to help take care of the soil and make sure it lasts for generations to come. The gardens are open and free to the public, but the classes are available through the Stanford Inn. You do not need to be a guest to take part in any of the classes though. So check out their website for more information. For lunch, we hit Brickery Pizza, which is part of Cafe Beaujolais, which is one of the most well-known restaurants in Mendocino. Oh my gosh, this pizza was outstanding. You have to check out the spot. I had that pizza that's covered in balsamic glaze and arugula. It was scrumptious. Then it was time to check into our last accommodation for the Mendocino trip, which was the Brewery Gulch Inn. This property is stunning. It has 10 gorgeous guest rooms finished in eco salvage redwood with luxury touches and views from all rooms. Here's a look at the common area where you can enjoy wine hour and breakfast. They will cook for you. It's just hard not to feel relaxed in a setting like this. Staying in the Manzanita room and it's beautiful. Check it out. Oh, look at the bathroom. Oh my gosh. The Labo products. Labo. Soaking tub. Oh, they run so fast. 
Hey, Quill. It is wine hour. We've got our little bento. We've got a chicken cordon bleu with some rice. Beautiful wild rice. Let me get this beautiful brownie for later. Okay, fam, we just had our little wine hour dinner at Brewery Gulch Inn. I'm having a red blend from Mendocino. I had a Chardonnay earlier. I think it's so awesome that they do this. You'll receive a email ahead of your reservation, letting you know what the menu will be in case you have any dietary restrictions or allergies. I'm just gonna sit out here, enjoy the sights and sounds. I've already seen like about, I don't know, about a half dozen species of birds. We saw about six little quails huddling together on the grass. They were so cute. I've seen tons of blue jays. I don't know, robins, woodpeckers, all kinds of different birds. And they even get red and gray foxes here. Yeah, it's just so peaceful here. I love it. Definitely a really cool property to check out. Okay, friends, it is Thursday. It is our last day in Mendocino. We are checking out of the Brewery Gulch Inn. We had such an amazing stay here. The breakfast was so good. I had chilaquiles. They had French toast. He had like a chai lossy drink. I had coffee, organic coffee and fruit. Yeah, we're just packing up, taking a few final photos and then gonna hit the road. Let me show you this view one last time before we go. Ugh, I can't wait to come back here. It's amazing. Mendocino is a perfect weekend trip from the Bay Area. Hopefully you enjoy this vlog and you found some ideas for your next trip. Here are some more travel vlogs you may enjoy and definitely subscribe for more.